it's feedback gaming welcome back to my series playing as japan how to find two we we're going to plan an invasion of siam in the arsenal of democracy mod i don't know why i keep saying that surely that's pretty obvious at this point right arsenal of democracy Hearts of Iron 2 right yeah i can actually give land to my puppets i've just realized see this menu gives me the option to do it yeah, I can give pieces of land. So some of this border gore I could clean up at some point. There isn't an option to annex them though. It's interesting look at these puppets and look at the industrial power. So this boat, little boy, boy, the 16 factories. 16 factories, yeah, pretty cool. Nine factories, he's a baby. 12 factories, you know, also pretty small. My Jukio has a nice 41 factory power. That's pretty impressive. But this little boy, the Yunnan, has 69. I think there's some kind of bug in this game where it gives you the event as China fight in Japan to, to move your industry west. Where I think it has some kind of bug where it creates more industry than it actually is. He's got 37 industry on this one spot. Just right here. Yeah, it's insane. Is that more than like Moscow? Moscow, well it's showing, not showing the right amount. It would be 12, but you don't get the full amount because you're Germany. You're occupying. 49 for Berlin. 35 for London. It's pretty impressive regardless. Pretty impressive. So it looks like we have engaged something because there's been a little bit of damage to one of my carriers. Hmm. Anyway, we're going to move our troops around. To here. For some reason they're taking... Hang on, where have they gone? Am I going nuts? Oh, they're here. They're here. Okay. Oh, they're here. They were hiding behind those garrisons. Okay. There's no... There's no suppression here. What? Alright, how are we doing on convoys? Okay, it's showing a lot more than it once did. See, I don't really understand that mechanic, what's happening with it. It seems like it goes really small and then goes a little larger. I don't get it. Regardless. <clears throat> At this point in the game, we should really be moving on to motorized. But it's really easy in Hearts of Iron 4 to just change your division templates instantly. But in this game, you can't. You have to disband them and then retrain them from the very start through production. Which is very click-intensive, time-consuming, production-intensive. It's intensive in a lot of ways. I'm going to stick these guys on the top. Do you know what? We don't even need that many cruisers anymore. Hang on a second. What are these? Oh, these are heavy cruisers. Oh, I thought they were light cruisers. They're not. These are light cruisers. This is secondary armament. Capital anti-air. Yeah, sure. We'll make a few of these. They look identical, don't they? Heavy cruiser. Oh, I've selected heavy cruiser again. Going mad. There we go. Four. There we go. Improved hull. Spotter. Torpedoes. Oh, we can only have two. Definitely down to air. What does fire control do? Then we're gonna go for improved hull and anti air. Yeah, that's what we're doing to do. Yep, yeah, decided. Official, that's what we're doing. Oh. Okay. Why did we have the option to upgrade it from day one? Oh. Okay. So did I select the old model? I think I did, didn't I? I think that's what just happened. This is 1944, which is still doable again. Alright guys, we're going for the super, super, super modern carriers here. I want to move one guy up here. 
and all the other ones are going to be based in the south. <coughs> encryption so the industrial power of Germany is 633 Britain is 187 and the US is 592 so now Germany is comparable to the United States almost but they're gonna, gonna deal with a really congested supply network that's the only problem hunter killer doctrine I'm not even, I can't even bother to change my tech teams. I can't be bothered. Right, I declared war on Siam. I'm gonna go, you guys are gonna go here, and then go here. I'm gonna move here and here, you guys are gonna go here, you guys are gonna go here. And that's it, we occupy the whole country. Okay, and that was easier than I thought it was gonna be. I think of the mine part. I think yeah. Whenever when I think I've eliminated China, that's pretty much the end of this area, really, isn't it? Because I don't think India is going to put much of a fight. I can understand now why they made Paradox made India like an independent. Kind of makes more sense, doesn't it? Ooh, what's this? Bulgaria. Um, yeah, it kind of makes more sense in my opinion. I would like a piece. I don't think so, do. Yeah, it makes more sense because I think from an AI's perspective, it's better that. The AI has full control of its land, so it kind of understands where who, where tr where to put its troops and whatnot. Wasn't much of a fight there. The supply isn't that great, but it doesn't even matter. Damn. Destroyed. Okay. Now, we need to do that. Actually, yeah, we are, that's fine. Okay, we can annex you now. And there's no resistance for some reason. Hmm, not sure why. Don't quite understand how suppression works in this game. I feel like I get to a point sometimes, and I feel like I've cracked it, and then suddenly I'm like, no, no, still don't get it. I like how it works, though. I like how it's dynamic, and it's based on your political system as well. I really like that. But I still don't get it. I don't get it. Three with a six skill. Three with a seven skill. That's nice. Oh my god, that was too easy. For every multiplayer game where I've had to hold Singapore, it has usually been a freaking nightmare. Yeah, like, I don't understand. There's like so much. so much parsing activity in China, but yet nowhere else. Do I actually need these? I don't. I'm wasting my money and time on them. Okay. So, where are we going now, boys? Do we try and take out Indonesia? The Philippines? Yep, I think we are. Take out the Philippines. Another Grand Admiral. I think I'm going to keep two of you behind. Um, jungles, marsh, or mountains. Oh, the choices, they're so good, aren't they? Well, the good news is you don't have to plan an amph amphibious invasion in this game, which is really sweet. That's uh, one less thing you've got to worry about. 
Oh my god, the upgrades. Lost an escort here. Another escort was lost. Here, here, and here. Okay, can we put these on a duty where they're defending the convoys? So we're doing naval patrol before, but this is naval interdiction. Is this going to be any different? I'm not sure. That's one thing we needed to research and I've completely forgotten about. We needed radar, didn't we? Radar gets att attached on to your navy and it does make a quite a big difference too. So I need to take care of that. Hmm. Oh, this is even the right fleet. This is the fleet. Is this the right fleet? Yeah, it is. Okay. Can we land here? Let's go for it, boys. What? Why can't we? Is it too far? Am I going to have to get rid of the destroyers? I know you're probably like screeching really loud when you see me get rid of those destroyers, but... No, that wasn't it. What? Let's go to Taiwan and see if I can do it from there. Surely that's the right range, right? Oh, we know what? Oh! Okay, sorry, that was stupid. <laughs> we know what with the USA. They've just not declared war. And that might explain why the Soviet Union got completely obliterated. Hmm. Okay. Oh. You don't have any artillery attached onto you. Why? Okay. Where's the beaches? There's one here? Let's, let's just go for it. Amphibious invasion. Day and night. Go. There's nobody here. So it's, it has gone from an amphibious evasion to just a simple stroll on the beach. Alright, well that's, that's done. Grab you guys. Go. Amphibious invasion, day and night. Go, go, go. No troops here. Mopping them up. Oh, we did drop a HQ too that's just sat here. Okay. Oh, is that a separate island? Okay. This is a, a little bit click intensive, I must admit. Lost two transports in the French trench. Japanese trench. I don't know why I said French. Okay, we're going to have to upgrade you now. Can we... Holy crap, they're not even connected. Private initiative boost production, 1%. Oh yeah, one extra factory. Oh yeah. Is this going to allow us to annex the Netherlands? 
here are the only ones here and the next one's here okay i guess maybe we could advanced logistics i don't need it but you know what i'm gonna go for it anyway i'm gonna go for it no actually i'm not i'm gonna go for radar don't i where's eight radar there you go Two, which is six, to eight. There we go. Oh my, 1.2 percent per day. Nice. Oh my god, the infrastructure's not too bad either. Have they been building infrastructure up here when they've uh, not been in Europe anymore? Maybe. Yugoslavia is still around. Socially conservative. Hmm. Advanced encryption. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Basic info theory. 1947. That's way too far ahead. We have got secrets though. We could go for the secret weapon of... The basic electronic computer. We need one that's got mathematics. Assault, they are night, unlimited, go, go. And they've done their job as well. You can guys can go back now as well. Actually, now go here, go here, go here. Don't think I even needed that many divisions, but it was done. Unrestricted submarine warfare has un been unlocked. Uh, naval doctrines are all being worked on now. Uh, we never worked on... We could go for tacticals, because we're making lots of those now, aren't we? This is something I really didn't plan on investing too much into, but we're at this point in the game now, so why not? So, Italy, how are you doing in Africa? So all of the Middle East has been taken. Ethiopia, they lost and they're gaining Ethiopia back. Doesn't look too good though. This is very difficult to push through. Italy has got a nightmare in this game, really has it bad. Uh, the terrain in Africa is awful, you just take so much attrition. <clears throat> Alright, can we annex the Netherlands now? Yeah, we can. Oh, damn! Now we desperately need to land here to take out the Aussies. Okay. Go here. Go here, go here. You guys go here. Go here. Yeah, ideally we should land here and then we could take out the rest of this area. I can't actually think of what this country is actually called. No, that was a like a colony of Austria for Australia for a little while, wasn't it? My goodness. Yet again, I'm completely unaware if that actually improves movement speed, but I'm going to take a guess where it does, so... Go. One. It's made my life so much easier though, hasn't it? Oh, this is a bit of a pain. I really want to take out the rest of this. We can take Australia out. We can pretty much conclude this. 
Oh yeah, light cruisers. Nice. I've got more sea attack. I was about to say they got more sea attack than the heavy cruisers, but they've not. Alright guys, I'm going to end this one a little bit earlier, okay? I think we're going to clean up Australia and New Zealand. I think just for the lols, I think we'll try a final attack against the United States and do a bit of island hopping. It'd be cool to test, test out my navy. I think at this point my navy will be strong enough to take them on as well. So the Philippines, island hopping, and the United States. I'll give it a shot. I'm not sure if I'll be successful, but we'll, we'll see what we'll do. Apart from that, have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.